Is it possible the mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus could make it to Michigan? The interesting way that they get around is actually in used tires. In good health tonight as the Olympics approach, Zika virus is on the mind of local as well as international experts. Or it surely is, but so where do we stand in Michigan? Dr. Frank McGeorge is answering your questions about Zika and sharing what he's learned from studying the outbreak over these past few months. At the beginning of 2015, no one in the United States had even heard of the Zika virus, but it was spreading quickly throughout South America, leaving a devastating birth defect in its wake. And it wasn't until the start of this year that alarm bells started ringing in the U.S., and they have only become louder. Everything we look at with this virus seems to be a bit scarier than we initially thought. That's Dr. Ann Shukat, Deputy Director of the Centers for Disease Control at a White House press conference April 13th of this year. That's the same day the Zika virus was officially linked to the devastating birth defect known as microcephaly. The Zika virus is spread primarily by the bite of an infected mosquito. In their brief two to four weeks of life, the mosquito becomes infected after biting someone else who's infected with the virus. That's the cycle. The mosquito bites a person with Zika, the mosquito carries the virus, and when the mosquito bites another person, it can infect them. This is a cage of mosquitoes. Uh, Dr. Ned Walker is a professor of entomology at Michigan State with a special interest in mosquitoes. He says, as far as Michigan mosquitoes go, the mosquitoes here, to the best of our knowledge, just are not genetically competent to carry the virus. There are two mosquito species that carry Zika virus uh, currently. They're both in the genus Aedes. One is called Aedes aegypti. The other one is called Aedes albopictus. The comforting news for Michiganders who are always complaining about the weather is these mosquitoes are not made for our climate. Well, in Michigan, we don't have the kind of mosquito that carries Zika virus. It's a tropical mosquito, and it can't overwinter here. And we've never found it in Michigan in over at least five decades of looking around for mosquitoes of different kinds. However, in a research paper published this year, maps show Aedes aegypti has been found in both Oakland and Livingston County. And Aedes albopictus has been found on the west side of the state in Ottawa County. State mosquito experts believe this may have been from a misidentification and confusion with a similar looking mosquito. However, both Dr. Walker and the research paper suggest a different possibility. The interesting way that they get around is actually in used tires. Mosquitoes aren't able to fly long distances. Even flying from Ohio at our southern border is unlikely. But mosquito eggs and larvae that have not fully developed have been found in used tires transported across multiple state lines. And that could introduce a small population of Zika transmitting mosquitoes to Michigan. The concern is that somebody acquires a Zika virus infection while traveling abroad, returns to the U.S., and they have the virus in their bloodstream and they'd be bitten by one of these important mosquitoes that we've mentioned. And then those mosquitoes would later bite another person and transmit the virus. This will be an issue in the southern United States with large mosquito populations of concern, but... In Michigan, I, it's just so unlikely. These are the maps from the Centers for Disease Control showing the more likely areas where Zika transmitting mosquitoes are found in the U.S. Now we could dream up all kinds of scenarios where a live Zika carrying mosquito could come off an airplane or some other cargo and bite someone living near the airport, for example. But the fact is, they are all incredibly doubtful. The essential message is, the real risk is for travelers to areas where Zika has been transmitted, especially women who are pregnant or who might become pregnant. And until we learn more, men who have traveled to these areas and been diagnosed with Zika need to use condoms for as long as six months. Back to you.